Hi, my name is Rose Wilder. I'm the superintendent of one of the greatest districts in South Carolina. And that district is Historic Clarendon School District 1. The district is historic because it is actually the birthplace of public school integration. In 1947, we had some very brave families here who actually wanted what was best for their children. They were not able to get that from the local school board, so therefore, these brave families signed a petition. And because of this petition, um, after 1947, um, the petition was filed actually at the U.S. State Supreme Court level in 1954. And thus the case, Brown v. Board of Education is born. And very few people realize that Brown v. Board of Education is a result of Briggs v. Elliott in Summerton, South Carolina. And today, I'm pleased to say to you that Clarendon One is a very progressive school district. I'm very excited about some of the things that we're doing here. Our motto here is, children first and the best is yet to come. I've had great support. They support you. It's a pleasant atmosphere. I really enjoyed it. Everything's just fine. It worked together just like a family. It's always been like a family and I enjoy that good support and family get-togethers and things of that nature. It's really good. They've been very supportive. My colleagues are always there for me. If I have any questions, I can always go to anybody to get help. I have been very uncomfortable when I first got here because I'm not from here. So since that was the case, it wouldn't make me feel as if I had belonged. Since I've been here, I've had no problems with the parents. The parents have had issues with me. My students love me. Best part about it. Now, the community is very, very nice. It's small, it's well knit. Everyone is always there for each other. Um, that's one of the main reasons why I moved here from Charleston. The fact that it was so small and well knit, and it's like everybody knows everybody, and that's the best part. I've been working in Clarendon School District 1 for 20 years. I've been at all the schools as a guidance counselor, director of special services, now principal here at Summerton Early Childhood Center. The kids are like, it's, they're my kids. I have a great community, parent, volunteer support. And at the early age, you know, a lot of people are really excited about these kids coming to school. So um, all our activities and things that we do, we have almost 100% participation. Yes, Clarendon One has a, a vision of a village to raise a child. So when we get a child in our classroom, usually we already know somebody who has touched that child before us. So we have um, certain people that we can go to, that we can talk to, to get these child, children where they need to be, where we can push them so they can all reach their potential or their goals. I've taught in a lot of different places here in South Carolina and um, I'm from here so it makes a difference to me because these children are the ones that I'm going to grow old with. <laughs> these students are the ones who you know I'm going to see in my community and I really want the best for our community and these children are the best. The parents bring us the best and we send back home the best. They are delightful, they're energetic, they're smart, um, they're entertaining, they're funny. You know, they, they have a wide variety of character, characteristics that make them very interesting in the classroom. Well, today we celebrated the 100th day of school, so we all came dressed as 100 years old, and each classroom had different activities that they had um, to prepare for the students today to learn about 100. And one of our goals in kindergarten is counting to 100, and by this date in kindergarten we wanted them to be able to count to 100. So today we're going to be practicing different ways of counting to 100, like by 1s, 2s, 5s, and 10s. This district here is small, but um, it doesn't matter about the size. We do it just as well as some of these bigger districts and some of the districts that are um, in the same poverty level that we are. And here in Clarendon One, we strive, we are number one, and we make sure that our kids are number one. For the students, they love to come to school. They enjoy learning. Um, I see a lot of growth here with the students that I teach. They may come with a little knowledge, 
but as time goes on, I see lots of growth. And I'm so proud of them because they want to learn and their parents are very interested in their learning. So the kids are doing awesome here. I am excited about sharing with you why would someone want to work in Clarendon School District 1? Well, first and foremost, you have a very charming superintendent. <laughs> but on a serious note, uh, we are an excellent district. We're a very progressive district. We support our teachers. We try to make certain that whatever supplies or materials that, that's needed, our teachers will be the first to affirm with you that we support our teachers in all aspects. We have wonderful administrators. Our administrators make certain that the environment is conducive for learning and teaching. Um, our philosophy is that you must have an orderly environment to teach and that is our goal to make certain that our teachers are able to teach without distraction. Our mission here is to make certain that our students are provided a quality education with the best human resources that are possible and I would encourage anyone to please come be a part of our district because Clarendon One is the place to be.